Hi everybody, uh, welcome back and uh, a fresh welcome to anybody that's new joining us tonight. Uh, we're going to tie another woolly bugger uh, tonight so again I'm going to use a long shank. Uh, this is size 6 again uh, and this time we're going to tie a black woolly bugger with a grizzle hackle and uh, I'm going to use a chartreuse 5 30 seconds uh, bead on the front of this one. So we we'll take our bead and what we do is we take the uh, hook and we pass the point of the hook through the small hole. So you can see at the back of our bead there's a big hole uh, and then at the front there's a small hole. So we pass the bead on hook through the small fly into the vise. So uh, to fix our eye in place or our bead sorry what I'm going to do is going to take a lead wire uh, now you can get non-toxic versions as well so I'm going to wrap on at least 10 turns and snap it off and the same at the back and then we push that up into the back of our bead and that will give us a fairly strong construct to tie our fly on. So to make that even stronger and more secure what I'm going to do is take a little bit of super glue and let that fix in at the back of the lead over the top of it to give it a coat and then I'm just coating the shank as well. So I'm now going to add on our tying thread. Now, it's probably best because of the sort of type of materials you're going to tie buggers with is to use fairly strong uh, tying threads or something around 140 down here uh, and then I wrap back over the bit that I had uh, super glued. So uh, as per usual tails in these things are uh, marabou. So uh, in a previous video where I tied the olive woolly bugger what I did was to strip one side of uh, the marabou and, uh, and use that, whereas in this one we're going to do a technique where we use the tip of one. So here's actually some strung marabou that you can buy from uh, well, online, you get it. So take a feather from that. As you can see in these sort of feathers, this tip portion is actually quite a nice shape. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stroke all this back and we're going to actually use this as our tail. So we want something around the length or maybe a little bit more than the body. So I'm going to put on a turn there just to hold that in place. Uh, now up to yourself then. Uh, you can choose the length of your thigh by pulling the tail a little bit forward through that if you want. Allow it to slide forward to whatever length you want and then tie back over it. Now to make this neat I want to tie it back to this point here so we shall wrap over our marabou there then hold it up straight cut it off. Sure. Some people don't like these sort of tips uh, sort of the, the fine uh, pointy tips of the marabou here and so as we showed in the other video you can snap that off so grab the thing and rip it off rather than cutting it. So as I showed you previously I think that marabou round shanks rusts them so I'm just going to put a little bit of my clear varnish on that and then I'm going to wrap that back tie in that'll tie in the materials can make everything nice and neat but as you can see the the uh, varnish is sort of coming out of the material under pressure and then that sort of seals the whole thing in and I think helps the fly to last longer stops it rusting. So if you want you can add a couple of strands of flash so at this point I'm going to put in one strand either side of 
Mirage crinkle. This is just a pearl Mirage crinkle. So I tie it in on my side to the length of the tail, then I fold it over to the far side. We're doing this in advance of the tie in point of the, of the tail so that then once I get them on each side, I can then wrap back over and that should leave them on side. You can put them on top wherever you want, it's up to yourself. And then cut that off length of the tail. That just gives us a little bit of a lateral flash line. So, uh, now we're going to think about uh, the hackle ribbon uh, and body. So previously I showed you wire, so this time we're going to use uh, silver oval as our rib. So I'll take a length of silver oval. I'm going to tie that in, I'll just place it underneath and I'm placing it up roughly to the length uh, of where our lead wire ended uh, because we don't want to step there. And then I'll hold it down underneath and tie back to the same tie in of the tail. Right, so for the body on this one, um, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. We're going to use chenille again. This time we're going to use a black chenille. So take that. If you wanted a thick body, you could actually just tie in across, uh, you know, tie that in the full length of the body. Uh, or strip a little bit of the core, tie in maybe, what, a quarter of an inch or so in advance of our tie end point, and then just stretch that back until the uh, core, the bare bit of the core, and the start of the materials is level with the tie end of the tail, and then we'll just tie that in there. And then move forward up the shank. At this point here, I'm just going to do a little bit of leveling out if I can, and take that up to the uh, to the head. So chenille. Uh, we're going to wrap that on. Keep a bit of tension on it. Touch and turns. Hopefully to create a nice smooth body. I suppose the idea with the black is that it probably imitates a leech as much as anything. So now we're at the front now. I'm stopping a little bit shy of my eye here. Now you can tie straight in across uh, our chenille like this as we did previously or what you can do is you can just try and use your thumbnail to separate out a little bit of the core here and then when you tie in on that it's much much thinner. Put a turn across it, fold it back, two or three turns on it and that is a much neater tie in. Um, so as I said, we're just trying to show you some contrast and styles between what we did in the previous video and what we did in this one. So, now for a hackle. Uh, so, we're going to use a grizzle hackle on this one. So, this is a cock neck cape. So, I'm going to look for a feather on this. And uh, it's up to yourself how long the fibres are. Some people will like very long, some people will like it quite short and spiky. I'm going to go for a sort of shortish one. So I'm going to snap off the uh, base of one. Tie it in. Flip that back. Trim it off. And then we'll take our hackle pliers and we'll rib this. Or not rib it, uh, palmer this back down the uh, hook. So I'm going to put on two turns to start because this is a fairly long hackle. You could also use a, a saddle hackle, much uh, probably easier to wrap. And we'll take that down in four, five turns underneath catch that with my ribbing tinsel 
and then I'm going to take that forward, snap off the hackle as you see, and we'll just rib that forward through the hackle. And as you can see I'm sort of wiggling it as I wrap it so that it doesn't catch any fibres. When I get to the front I'm taking it up on the side collar here over onto the top a turn or two of uh, my tying thread then I'll fold it back on itself for security and wrap several turns over that. So that is our fly essentially tied, so how do we finish it off? Um, so you could, if you so wanted, just use a whip finish like that, varnish that, or I reattach the thread. I'll show you what I did in the previous one, we'll use a different colour. So what we're going to do is take our hand spectre dubbing again. Uh, and this time I'm going to pick a chartreuse a little bit. You could also pick black if you prefer to keep it in that theme. And I'm going to just make a little dubbing rope there. And then I will take my super glue. I'll put on a little blob there. So that will fix the uh, tying thread in position, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get about two turns of that in behind the eye. And while that's all still wet, I want to get a half hitch or two settled down in behind. So that's the fly finished. Uh, for added security, peace of mind, I would take a little bit of clear varnish and just let that seep into that little dubbing colour that we made there. But as you can see it neatens up the whole uh, the whole finishing off of behind a bead. And uh, there we have a, a chartreuse and black holy bug. So as per usual. Uh, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, leave some comments down below. I uh, always like some feedback on what I'm doing. Uh, tell your friends. And uh, until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.